Right, so I just want to do a quick video on this Mercedes that I just bought. Uh, it's not really too much about the car itself, it's more about when you're buying a car, I just want to show you what to check. So everyone when they buy a car, they look at the obvious, like the bodywork and stuff. Like you can see this one's got a really bad, that bit of damage on the rear quarter there. But that's, that's fine, you can see that, you can, you can talk about that when you're buying the car. Um, all in all, it's a nice looking car, yeah? That's obvious stuff. I don't need to teach you how to look at a car because you all, all know how to do that. Uh, obviously drive it, check the mirrors work, just all the obvious things. Now, what a lot of people don't check is HPI certificates. People just buy a car and don't HPI the car. That's no good. You need to HPI cars because I I get nearly every day, I get the same scenario happen where I'm about to buy the car, I run a check on it and it's, it's stolen, recovered. It's been in an accident of some sort or there's some kind of history with it so we use hpi themselves and this is what hpi certificate looks like and they cost about 25 quid i think to the to general public but you can use like a, a text check costs you three quid google dvla checks text check or something like that car check and you'll find one there for three quid and it it checks all of these things okay your vehicle id whether it's been stolen if it's got finance security watch and so on so you can see this one just about to buy it and it's got an insurance write-off alert. It says stop there. And then at the bottom of the page it says category D, insurance loss, uh, vehicle damage but repairable. And it was done in 2013, okay? So that affects the value of the car by about 25%. Now, the people that sold me this car, I believe them. They didn't know anything about it. it people do genuinely buy cars all the time and they don't realize they don't know about hpi checks people more and more now no, nowadays know about it but these people didn't know and a lot of time people try and stitch me up so people come in the shop and say no no honestly it's not been in any accidents and i check and i found that they've been lying but a lot of people definitely don't know about it so that three quid could have saved these people a lot of money today so that's one thing so hpi checks always do a hpi check doesn't necessarily have to be with hpi Obviously, they're better because they check a little bit more in-depth details like logbook loans and stuff. But the other thing, which will drastically affect the value of the car, is the mileage. Now, you can look at the service book, make sure it's all consistent. So, i.e. serviced every year, year 10,000, 20,000 miles, 30,000 miles, 45,000, and so on to whatever the mileage is today. Uh, the other way you can check, uh, something that the government have done recently, is look at the previous odometer readings on all the last MOTs. So, if you look down here, just make sure I'm pointing the camera in the right place I am. So in 2013, it had done 77, 2012, 66, and so on. And that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see consistency with the mileage. If it's not consistent, then steer clear of it. Ring the DVLA, you can speak to the DVLA about it. But it's just a couple of things that I see every day. People just buy cars, they don't know about this MOT check thing. They don't know you can go online and check it out. And they don't know that you can do a HPI. The owners of this car, if they'd have done that, they'd have saved themselves so much money. And it's just something I see every day and I think everyone should know about it. So just do your checks, people, all right? That's it. Right, so here it is. Sun's blinding my eyes, I can't see nothing. 